Uh, the first one is China Shenhua. Uh, the ticker is 1088. China Shenhua is a world leading integrated energy company based on coal. It's the largest coal production and sales company in China and the second largest listed coal company in the world and has the largest reserves of high quality coal in China. Its main businesses are uh, quite diversified, including the production and sales of coal and electricity. Besides selling coal, it also generates uh, electric electricity itself, uh, consuming the coal it produces. Uh, it also uh, operates railway because railway is essential for uh, transportation of coal to the port, uh, uh, to and from uh, the port. So it operates uh, also is also in port operation and ship transportation. And it's also engaged in the mid to down uh, streams of the value chain of the uh, uh, that in uh, involves coal to all fins and uh, and coal chemicals and other businesses the integrated business model of coal power generation railway port shipping and coal chemistry industry is china sunhua's unique business model and also its profit model uh, China Shenhua's development strategic goal is to build a world-class clean energy supplier. Okay, this is the financial highlights of its first quarter uh, business performance. Uh, you can see the total revenues increase year on uh, 0.7 percent year on year from um, 87 billion yuan in the first quarter of 2023 to 87.6 billion yuan uh, in the first quarter two to four. Uh, the reason is uh, the uh, growth of power generation, railway transportation, and other businesses. And profit uh, attributable to equity shareholders of the company uh, for the first quarter was 17.76 billion yuan, uh, down 14.1% uh, compared to last year. Because this year, uh, in the first quarter, uh, coal prices have uh, uh, corrected and uh, uh, de uh, declined uh, to from last year. Okay, earning per share was also down fourteen point one percent from one point zero four yuan to zero point eight nine four yuan per share. Okay, uh, the dividend yield is uh, attractive. Uh, with final dividend and interim dividend for 223, uh, totaling 2.51 Hong Kong dollar per share, uh, the dividend yield at current price is about 6.5 percent. Actually, uh, you can notice that among uh, the uh, the companies we uh, picked uh, for uh, presentation here, most of them uh, boast of dividend yield of uh, at least six percent. Okay, so when uh, the U.S. starts to uh, cut interest rates, I think uh, companies are offering six plus uh, six uh, plus percent dividend yield would be uh, would be, become more attractive to uh, you uh, to investors looking for uh, yields. Okay. Um, as I mentioned early, just now, uh, its business is very diversified. So in the, the part uh, related relating to coal, the production and sales of cell produce coal increased slightly. Uh, this is last year's data. You can see uh, total production was 324 million tons uh, of coal last year, up 3.5% compared to 2022. Um, it have five major uh, mine, coal mines uh, operated uh, by the company, namely Shandong Mines, uh, Zhongge Mines, uh, Shangli Mines. Uh, this one is uh, Borosai mine, Mines and Baotou Mines in uh, Inner Mongolia. Okay, uh, so its mines are uh, located in different parts of China, but namely uh, those provinces that are rich in coal reserves, uh, namely Inner Mongolia, 
uh, Shanxi and Shanxi. Uh, these are two different provinces. The first one is with two A is Shanxi, and the uh, one with only one single A, uh, let single A letter A is Shanxi. Okay, uh, so these three provinces are the uh, three major uh, provinces in China that have uh, very rich coal reserves. Okay, um, in the first quarter this year, coal sales uh, of the company is 117 million tons, an increase of 8.8% year on year, of which the sales volume of self-produced coal was 80.3 million tons an increase of 1.1% from the previous year. And the sales volume of purchased coal was 36.8 million tons, an increase of 30.5% from the previous year. So add up together, the coal sales uh, for the first quarter was 117 million tons. So uh, the business model for the company is besides selling uh, the, the coal produced by uh, itself. It also it will also purchase coal from other suppliers uh, and do some uh, processing, then uh, resell. So uh, you can see in the first quarter, uh, purchased coal accounted for about thirty percent of its total uh, coal sales. Okay, and uh, by regions, uh, it's also quite diversified. Uh, it's the company sells, sells coal in northern China, eastern China, central China, and southern China, and northeast China. Okay, and by usage, uh, most of the coal it produces and sells uh, are for power generation, thermal coal. Okay, uh, 16.8 million tons uh, were for metall metallurgy, uh, for steel uh, refining. Okay. And uh, 58, uh, part of the 58.3 million tons, as in 2023, uh, of the coal are used for chemical uh, production, including coal slurry. Okay, uh, now comes to the railway part. Railway is railway business increased in volume and profit. In the first quarter this year, the company achieved a turnover of 82 billion tons kilometers of its own railway transportation increased 10.1% year on year. The loading volume of its own ports, uh, uh, it operate, uh, operates two ports, namely Huanghua Port and Tianjin Coal Terminal. Uh, the loading volume in the first quarter of these two ports was 65 million tons, an increase of 8.2% year on year. And the shipping cargo volume was 33.7 million tons, a de decrease of 1.2% year on year, very slight decrease. And the shipping turnover was 36.3 billion ton nautical miles, an increase of 3.1% year on year. And the sales volume of poly oil fins was 172,000 tons, a decrease of 3% year on year. So its business. Uh, includes uh, transportation, uh, railway, port operation, uh, shipping, as well as coal chemicals. Okay, in terms of electricity, uh, power generation increased uh, in the first quarter and the profitability also improved. In the first quarter this year, the company's total power generation was 55.35 billion kilowatt hour up 7% year on year. Total electricity sales were 52.16 billion kilowatt hour, also up 7% year on year. And the average electricity price was 409 yuan uh, megawatt hour, decreased 2.6% uh, year on year. Uh, although average electricity price uh, decreased by 2.6%, uh, it was made up by the increase in power generation. So uh, all in all, uh, revenue from uh, power generation still manages to uh, manage to increase in the first quarter because of uh, uh, more power generation, okay? As at the end of April 2024, the medium and long-term contract price. Uh, I, I mentioned 
earlier that uh, coal price, this is the trend of uh, the uh, thermal uh, coal uh, price uh, since 2022 uh, for the last two years. So it peaked around 660 yuan, about 660 yuan in uh, the third quarter and fourth quarter of 2022. And 2023, uh, the uh, price of thermal coal in China uh, corrected uh, from six, about 660 to around six, uh, four, 640 uh, yuan per ton, okay? Representing a decrease of about 10 yuan uh, per ton as compared with that at the end of uh, the previous year. So the drop was quite moderate, uh, uh, less than 10%. It's just uh, uh, actually uh, less than 2% uh, uh, drop. Uh, in respect of the demand side, China's commercial coal consumption increased by approximately 7.5 year on year in 2023. Okay, uh, although China is striving to uh, promote green energy, uh, renewable energy, yet uh, coal consumption or coal, yes, coal consumption still accounts for uh, more than 50% of power generation in China. It will take time for uh, this uh, ratio to come down as the, uh, the, the, the uh, cap install capacity of uh, renewable energy uh, continues to increase. So it will take time. For the time being, China still uh, relies uh, uh, on coal uh, fuel coal consumption. Okay. Uh, in the first thought, first quarter this year, the national industrial raw coal output was 1.11 billion tons. So uh, now we can have a rough idea of the uh, output, coal output, raw, uh, raw coal output uh, in China is around 4 billion. So one quarter is about 1.11 billion. So it's around 4 billion to 4.4 billion tons a year. Okay. Uh, in the first quarter this year, uh, output was down slightly by 4.1% compared to the first quarter last year. Okay. Um, some highlights uh, of the company. Uh, on June 26th last year, the company announced the progress of the work on the acquisition of certain assets held by the controlling shareholder. Actually, is uh, controlling shareholder is a state-owned company, which still owns uh, very uh, valuable uh, assets, uh, coal mines uh, in China. So uh, going forward, uh, there's still room uh, for the for Shenhua, China Shenhua Energy to acquire uh, various assets from its controlling shareholder. Last year, it has announced the uh, acquisition of three coal mines under production uh, from its controlling shareholder, namely uh, Yannan Mine, Jani uh, River, River Street Mine, and Tarangalo, Tarangala uh, Coal Mine. At the end of 2022, uh, the first two coal mines retained recoverable coal reserve of 410 million tons under PRC standards with coal production capacity of 10.7 million tons per year and completed commercial coal production approximately 8.7 million tons. So these two coal mines are still uh, under uh, construction and the completed uh, uh, commercial coal production was about 80% of the production capacity. Uh, the production capacity under construction of the third coal mine is 10 million tons per year. And as of the end of 2022, the recoverable coal reserve of uh, this Tarang Gaul coal mine uh, under PRC standard was uh, 920 million tons. So it's a much bigger uh, coal mine. So the three coal, mine, uh, coal mines adding together, it will, upon completion of the acquisition, uh, the remaining recoverable reserves of the company will see an addition of 1.3 billion tons, uh, 410 million tons from the first two coal mines and 920 million tons 
from the third coal mine. Uh, so it will uh, expand the re, uh, recoverable reserves of uh, the company quite substantially. Okay, this is the valuation of China Shanghua Energy. Now it's uh, trading at 1.7 times uh, P book price to book value. Dividend yield 6.3%, uh, ROA 10.3% and ROE 16%. Net profit margin, 18.8%. Uh, I think uh, close to 20% net profit margin is quite uh, decent, a very decent net profit margin. It's not gross profit margin, it's net profit margin. And uh, earning per share last year was 3.253 yuan uh, per share. Okay, uh, reasons for uh, our picking of this uh, stock. Uh, it is expected that supply and demand in China's coal market will be basically balanced in 2024. Uh, last year, because of the uh, economic slowdown, uh, coal, uh, we, we see a slight oversupply of coal, so that uh, caused downward pressure on coal price, coal price last year. And this year, we are expecting a more balanced uh, coal market in China. And uh, we will, which will result in uh, more stable coal prices. The coal industry has obvious characteristics of high dividends, uh, not too much capex to, I mean, uh, most of the coal com mining company do not uh, need to uh, spend a lot of uh, uh, capex, capital expenditure into uh, new mine uh, construction. Therefore, they are able to uh, pay uh, I mean, to uh, pay higher dividends to their shareholders. And after the supply side reform to control the, uh, the increase in supply, in coal supply by the government, by the Chinese government, the operating conditions of the coal industry have been greatly improved, which is in favor of the coal uh, 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 producers. Uh, and coal companies have strong cash flow and high dividend payout ability. In 224, with the implementation of fiscal policies, steel inventories will be further reduced. Uh, and the, another uh, key usage of coal besides power generation in China is steel refining. So uh, in the past, uh, the demand for uh, metallurgy coal is not that uh, high, was not that high, it's because uh, the steel industries are is uh, seeing high inventory. Now with uh, further reduction in uh, steel inventories, uh, the blast furnace operating rate will continue to operate at the high level, which means more demand uh, uh, will be expected for metallurgy coal uh, or for coking coal uh, going forward. And in terms of domestic supply, the supply of coal is limited due to regulation, uh, the supply side reform, uh, uh, which aims to uh, eliminate, to phase out uh, the uh, backward uh, coal, uh, coal mines. It is expected that the import volume of imported coal will remain stable in 2024. In China, the government has a quota. Uh, uh, every year they set a quota for Coal imports, so this will uh, uh, regular. Uh, this will uh, manage the uh, volume of imported coal to uh, and, and will lend support to the to coal prices. Uh, so the overall coal supply is expected to be tight this year. Um, the company China Shanghua Energy has the advantages of an integrated coal, electricity, roads, ports, and shipping industrial chain. Uh, and it has a high proportion of long-term coal sales contracts. That means it's more the visibility of its sale, uh, sales uh, revenue is, more, uh, is higher, is more visible because it has entered into more uh, long-term coal sales contracts with its uh, uh, customers. Uh, and uh, stable performance, long-term focus on investor returns, a high dividend ratio, uh, and also driven by the market value assessment of central enterprises, state-owned enterprises. Its valuation is expected to increase further. Okay. Um, 
its share price uh, performance is quite strong this year so far. Uh, you can see that it, it, it has risen to uh, about 34 Hong Kong dollars recently. And uh, this is a uh, comparison of uh, price to uh, book value, P book. It used to trade be, uh, uh, to, to be cheaper than its peers. Uh, the red line represents the P book of its peers, comparable peers. The white line is the P book of Shenhua. Uh, but uh, since uh, last year, uh, uh, it's the second half of last year, it has kept caught up uh, maybe uh, also boost by the uh, Zhong Te Gu, uh, China uh, valuation, uh, state owned uh, enterprise valuation. Uh, the market is looking uh, at the higher valuation for those state owned companies. So now it's trading at 1.42 uh, times people compared to around 1.17 times people. Uh, among its peers. So uh, we think the current price is a bit pricey. If we take um, 1.3 times people, uh, a good entry price would be around, now is, uh, let me see today, it's about 39.3, uh, close to 40. Uh, it hit a year high of 40.1 uh, Hong Kong dollars this morning. So uh, we would recommend an entry price of $37, about uh, uh, not, more, uh, not more than 10% correction from the recent high. Now, now it's a bit pricey. So this one, need, uh, we recommend investors to wait for a lower entry price, around 37 Hong Kong dollars. 